talking to them, any uh, drivers that they have or any um, scoring guards that they have. And then offensively, just making sure our team gets into the sets, knocking down the open shot, um, and just trying to run the team and push the ball in transition. Uh, pretty much simple things. The three point guards all pretty much have the same role. Marcus does a bit more as far as scoring. Um, Joe's a little bit more aggressive as far as into the basket. So we all have different types of game, but it's, we all have the same duties essentially. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, Coach Williams said that you're kind of the microwave when you came in today. Is that a role that you kind of try to embody? Um, I wouldn't say I try to embody that, but any type of uh, boost I can give the team off the bench offensively or defensively, I try to do. I talked to you up in Annapolis about how more aggressive you were that game, especially with the handle, getting the ball in the lane and, and doing different things with it. You're still that way now. It looks like your confidence is continuing to grow. How much has it grown since then? I know it grew a lot in the offseason, too. Mm -hmm. um, most definitely. I think uh, in the offseason is when it grew the most. Uh, Having two years up on your belt, I think, is a lot, especially in the system. And um, just throughout the season, uh, we've had success, and um, my teammates have confidence in me and the coaching staff. So I feel like that only gives me more confidence. And when you go out and play like you like you have the last couple of games, at that little little dip, how much does it confirm what you did in the off season? The points of emphasis you had in the off season. Um, I think it confirms a lot. It just shows that I, I put a lot of time in it. Um, I feel like our entire team has done that. You can see that our team is a whole lot better and everyone has made improvements. How, what is the challenge, I guess, right now of adjusting to your minutes a little bit? That Marcus has come back in, the rotation's different, you're getting fewer minutes to make an impact, so you've got to be really efficient. What's the difficulty you're um, Well, I've always felt like I had to be efficient. Uh, I know my role is not to take a bunch of shots on the offensive end, uh, just kind of knocking down the open shot and taking whatever's there. So. Um, Marcus being back, like I said, he's going to come and play a lot of minutes. So everyone knew that minutes would be cut from other players, and uh, everyone's fine with that. We're just glad to have him back. Uh, no look pass there? <laughs> um, I think Joel was out in front of me, and I wanted to pass it to him, but uh, I don't think the defender saw Kenny, so I just kind of got it to him really quickly. You've done that before? Um, I did it a lot in high school. Uh, no look passes usually turn into turnovers on the college level, so I haven't done it as much now. How many shots a day did you get up in the offseason? Especially perimeter shots. How many shots a day? I have no idea. Uh, was there any kind of a... Uh, it wasn't like a specific number. My sophomore year, I was trying to get up close to 500 minutes a day every day in the summer. Um, last year, it was just trying to be more comfortable and pick up and um, like game-like situations. In the shot through that, because again, that's another part that looks a lot more comfortable. All right, all right. And when you said you did like 500 a day two years ago, that's because you would change your shot. All right, that's because I switched from left hand to right hand, so I wanted to make sure I was just, I would be as comfortable as possible when the season came around. But the defensive end, it seemed like.